Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild and I don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, so out of recording right now. Uh, I had a lot of computer troubles a bit and I think I need new RAM. I hope it, it doesn't give me trouble now, but uh, there's something something not right with the whole thing and I ran some tests and had to repair files on the disks and the RAM was kind of ugh, not what it is to be but I hope that I can get through this recording without issues that would be nice so you can see that I have uh, painted the ship at least the bottom half I remove this dusty not so new texture that I had on here. Uh, I might bring that back later, but for now I just wanted to go with the with the clean colors basically. And I finished some of the weapons. I have armored them up. I've brought in anti-missile systems that hopefully work because I'm having troubles with the normal version of these MCRN PDCs. They don't seem to work right now. So I replaced them with a normal Ravenbolt turrets from Ravenbolt's compact weapons uh, uh, set and used them just being set to uh, just fire on projectiles. And I used these turrets, these Phalanx CIWS turrets uh, these are weapons core products uh, products so let's hope this works out i've added more gyros i've added thrusters i um i'm working on the back side to kind of give it some texture some 3dness and i i'm trying to do some light in here but it is just on the on the on the bright side of the ship there's not a lot of it when it comes to the dark side there is a bit more to see but it needs to be welded up there the problem is again the light thing that space engineers has i would like to make the whole thing a lot brighter but then it shines through to the other sides of the wall so that's a bit sad. I'm working on these tubes to give them some more form. Uh, did I add weapons? I removed weapons. Some phasers are gone. I'm... Uh, these things, ooh, they look kind of nice when they fire. Uh, this phaser needs to go, by the way. I wanted to remove that i'm also working on the interior closing off compartments all that stuff so the ship really takes shape and one thing i want to do today is i want to get rid of the anchor on the on this astronaut uh astronaut asteroid oh yeah backside i uh, placed all the blocks around here to don't know finalize the shape a bit it's not too beautiful this kind of sticks out a bit like a thor sum thor thor sum source thump that, that's what i wanted to say but today we want to lose the anchor and maybe try to move it a bit and i i kind of want to go for this dangerous river encounter to get the ship rolling and to hopefully i don't know get into just a tiny bit of trouble <laughs> and we we need to come back here later because uh yeah we see we can see the the gps point here i'm not sure if this thing moves at all i I, I'm sure, oh yeah, I brought in a staircase, so we could go up there, but there's still much more work to be had. Closed off the bridge, but also the bridge is not too nice yet. So, 
what we should do. And yeah, there, there we already, there we already have it. The ship speeds up, that's nice, but the ship doesn't turn at all. So we need to overcome that problem. So more and more, more and more things are needed. We could go, we could just go up and to the side and maybe drift towards the whole thing <laughs> and see if, if we can get it to react. But this ship is really, really slow. It's a, it's a massive ship. It's a massive ship. It doesn't need to be too, too fast, I say. But we should be able to turn it just a bit. So, while it is flying, we maybe are able to put in more gyros. So, that's one thing we might want to do. Uh, this needs to be beautified. Uh, so, I am putting gyros up, up top here. There's a lot of empty space up here that needs to be filled. And so we, we do that. Now the ship is moving, that's not too good. Oh yeah, maybe it is also because it needs to well, that the gyros one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. I'm doing pockets of pockets of nine. Can I? Yes. Okay. I'm doing pockets of nine, just so or nine by two, so I can kind of in the end count what I have here. But it's not working out too much okay uh i in 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 the in the interim i yeah again the computer troubles also kind of had i also had problems with se se is really the the world i'm pretty sure is <clears throat> It's not running very well anymore and it is not starting up all the time. I had to remove some mods. I I got rid of mods that I right now don't need. Uh, stuff like all the wasteland encounters that are done for uh, Pertum, uh, all that stuff is gone. I threw out just a few equipment mods that I never used. I had to throw out one that I wanted to test uh, just as a way to get rid of materials on my on my miners. Somebody, somebody and that's a mod that was brought out uh, early on when the game got mods uh, but somebody made a new version of that or something there's a there's basically a teleporter that you can use to teleport cargo from one ship to another the interesting thing here is that it is not uh this version is that it is not unlimited so you need to be in antenna range because I have the Reavers in, my antenna ranges are so short that it would just replace basically connectors. I had to get into, for this ship for example, for into a 400 meter antenna range. And that's just, yeah, at that point I could use connectors, but I don't want to use the connectors because this ship just eats through all the energy and it yeah again it it also grabs stuff from from the smaller ships that are maybe connected up mm. and something like that would be interesting 
I don't know. It could be too cheaty and I could feel not right doing that. But at least I could have given it, it a try. But for some reason, the world wouldn't just load. I had the feeling it could be one of these occasions of me believing in voodoo magic because, oh, no, I added this mod and now it it's it's a, it's a good it's a good way to deal with that. I added a mod. It game doesn't work. Remove mod. But the problem is I removed it and the game still didn't work. I had the feeling it could also have to do with some update that some updates that were run uh, on other mods. I'm not sure. Uh, but again, I'm I'm kind of trying to get into trouble. I want to have the ship yeah be don't know yeah the, the ship needs to stretch its legs a bit and that is mainly done with uh yeah flying somewhere and uh fighting something but the big problem is it doesn't turn very well it turns i can see it but not too well. Can I use... No, I can't. Sadly, I can't. It seems I can't. I would like to try to use the... Not the front torpedoes, the... The, the weapon... Weapon core torpedoes. That would be nice. So you can see there on the back, I'm trying to add some ridges. The the color scheme that I now went for is yeah something naval. So ships, ships in don't know some some ships have that uh, British, Russian. I think there's even U.S. American Navy ships that have these red underbellies. Maybe the color protects it from the salt water. But I kind of like the idea of having this distinction now with the Navy numbers on there and the, the, all that stuff. We, we seem to have landed, by the way, when it comes to the name <laughs> with the 42. We seem to have landed with Heart of Gold. I've think it's too long i had the f the idea nautilus nautilus or uh, excalibur or something like that you you can have opinions on that that would be nice but i say that the ship is in a state where we definitely can try to find so fight something and i want to slowly get back into other stuff. For one, we have to find the culprits that stole Edgar. Uh, that's kind of a thing I didn't forget, but I really don't have a clue where to search for him. And uh, now with this ship, we, we can maybe get around doing that. Uh, although <laughs> before that happens, I might have to speed it up a bit, just a teeny tiny bit. But now I want to concentrate on, don't know, ships that that I can carry with this thing that maybe a bit more capable of fighting. I want to outfit this ship with some container capabilities so that we can transport some of the containers or at least empty them, them out. And for that, I then need a container carrier. And uh, I kind of, yeah, I might have to take a look at this cargo teleporter thing so that I, I don't know, maybe can get into the the drill ships again and do something there. I, they, again, I have a, there's a new version of the twin Twin tools, maybe go with more of a traditional uh, mining ship. Oh, there's so much more. Need to find more uses for 
the modular ship that I have, maybe finish that. Uh, again, now now we have options again. And uh, we still haven't visited all the all the planets. But again, maybe finding clues for Edgar. That that should be should be something I should take a look at. Oh, this thing turns so slowly. I'm I see that it is still turning. But not too fast. Good. Let me get closer to this to this enemy and see if we can and no no get get some fighting going on. Okay, now we are in the meters range, so let us see what happens. I'm I, I don't know, I'm a bit worried. I just took a blueprint of the ship so that if something breaks, we hopefully can repair that a lot easier. I don't know when this thing hits. I I messed up with one. And I can't remember how close I had to get if it has to be on point or if we just fly closer and closer to it and then it spawns. We did that on Corvus in our multiplayer series and there it was I think relatively on point but that is multiplayer I don't know if that does something different there. You can see that uh, it takes a lot from the from the batteries we only have a few hours of a few hours of power but that shouldn't be the issue because we have a lot of reactors right now i think i'm missing just three or four or something like that that are not built yet and i'm pumping uranium in them there's something okay so where's the encounter there's the encounter ship spawned it should attack us. Jump drives are off. Uh, and the... The... Okay, see, it's firing torpedoes at us. It has them too. Now something is taking them off. That's good. Oh no, it's not torpedoes. That's... It is using the railguns. Great. Okay, phasers. Bring the phasers to range. Phasers. Come on, we bring you up. Two, five. Fire. Ooh. That thing is big and, again, it is well armed. So our ships are getting hit hard. But I hope that we are not that we are giving back there. Can't really see it from here. It's getting closer. It's a big th big ship and you can see that it it definitely Ooh, there are the there are the coil guns. They look really nice. But I don't know what they are firing at. Okay, we go down, 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 down. It wants to get us from the top. So we try to slide down. It sh will hit the shields, I'm pretty sure. But it hit them slow. And now it's just a... Now it's basically just a shouting match. <laughs> but you can see it also has phasers. It also has the big, the big lasers. So... That is... These these guys are definitely not a... Yeah, maybe a match for us even. I see that the shields are going down. But... It definitely... I think it definitely gets hit a lot harder than we are getting hit. Not having shields... Yeah, makes the whole thing... 
31 minutes of power so we are running off the batteries right now okay koyans are firing again i can't see anything because dark and the shields are getting me the the one thing that i really don't like is the fact that i can't lock the torpedoes on because that would have been nice to also fire them uh, the the ones on the side it is really trying to to get to something i don't know what see how how long this fight takes because the the reavers one thing the reavers are they are really built to last. Okay, inhibitor field has been disabled. Jetpack, that's good. I can could use my jetpack again. Where's the phalanx? What is firing? Railguns. I will speed a bit, or I will try to not get away from it, but I will try to don't know maneuver as much as I can that thing is just now turning around me and it's still firing it still has weapons that okay let us use the phasers maybe to get to the weapons pick subsystem we will go for the offense and we will say Oh no. Okay, everything's fine. So, and target subsystems. Let's see if that does something. If the phasers now are able to just pick out the, the weapon systems, we can just declaw it. Uh, the, the, I have some railguns in the front that do one hell of a job. I think I placed them the last time. These small ones beneath the big laser there they are crazy um i had a ship that just flew past and they just hammered that thing okay now the phasers should do the trick with the with the ship's weapons oh, it's so nice to see the 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 just Weapon weapon core does such a nice job of just moving the weapons over the over the ship, kind of just not not making it static. Done. It it looks nice. It it just I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. It looks a lot cooler when when the weapons just switch target in the middle of firing, and these coil guns. They are really nice. I like the look of their projectiles. These silvery, fast things just... Oh. It's a bit of a mixture. Don't know, some people might not like that, that there's so much of a mixture of, of just uh, weapons going on there, but I don't know, I, kind, I really like it. So Gladius Ions overheated. Uh, Railgun turrets need reloading. The phases don't show up in there. That's a bit boring. But it seems it didn't. It didn't crack my shields, and now I think it doesn't has has weapons anymore. Short work. Not short work, but work. <laughs> work was done. And we, we saw that on, on Corvus, that with just the lasers, just the Gladius lasers, that would take a lot longer. A lot longer. Oh, I know why the phasers are not firing anymore. If there's no weapons anymore, then there is no nothing to shoot anymore so now we go for power Zzz. 
This is so nice. Uh, but I need... I also need some weapons that just use ammo or use... I want these fast firing trails of bullets. Maybe we don't see them, but uh, I, I need some standard weapons on there. Okay, now it is also out of power. So I think we defeated it. I will not be able to catch it with the ship but at least we we definitely saw that we that we can defeat foes even even foes that that come in with with the same weapons okay they they don't have shields but that worked out pretty well good nice so the the ship proved its worth i say and now we maneuver back, or I will maneuver back to the, not to the anchor, maybe close to the anchor. Although it's somewhere down there. And then I will keep building. And maybe we do this the next time again, hopefully with a bit more, <laughs> a bit more uh, maneuverability. And then maybe I can find a way. The, the problem here is that I usually would get this this um, reticle that 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 I can use to point over the ship and then click it so that weapons core uh, locks this ship for the for the torpedoes. But the problem is, it seems I have to have direct sight on it. So, that's a bit sad. That's a bit sad. I think you can stop firing now, weapons. Okay, then the, the phasers go back to... I might have to set that up on the hotbar so that I can go back to certain uh, that I can go to certain subsystems and just pick them out with the hotbar that would be nice I will do that for the next time I think if I don't forget it but the ship didn't didn't get damaged and we lost a lot of ammo there that might be the only thing that Replacing the ammo is a bit expensive, especially if you have ammo that uses uranium and platinum. We have, I think the 250 millimeter railgun turrets, they use platinum as ammo. Or one of the railguns. That's a bit, that's a bit expensive. Good people, but I think that is all for today. I wanted to do this. I wanted to give you a short update what the situation is, where I am with the ship, and give it a go with yeah fighting something. And now we see that we need more maneuverability and maybe some more thrusters up, down, and, and to the sides. That seem would be good. Otherwise, uh, I, I'm pretty happy with it. It's just big. Again, we need to establish jump points that this thing can go to and stay at. I'm happy. Give me an opinion on the on the whole naming thing again. Uh, that's the three I would prefer. Again, the, the Heart of Gold is something that is... <laughs> yeah, that is used with it 42. It, it, it makes sense to some. Nautilus and Excalibur would be something nice. The mythical sword of the reign of uh, the, the, the true king. And... Uh, the the Nautilus is is a is a nice thing because again Captain Captain Nemo 
it's also a, a, a cool thing. The the one guy fighting against uh <laughs> Yeah, being called a pirate for fighting the the establishment and maybe being a pirate. I'm just <laughs> something, something like that. Good people. I say that's all for today. Hope you like this episode. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you're new here, yeah, consider subscribing. There will be more Space Engineers videos in the future. Maybe other stuff too. And... Um, I hope that my computer, uh, don't know, that I can fix the problems at one point. Um, again, I'm happy that everything worked out right now. Good people. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. See ya, guys.